Luffy Gear 5 figures are everywhere at the moment. So I took a little look over at AliExpress to see what different options they actually had. Now, working from a budget, I managed to get six figures ranging from $2 up to about $10. These also range in different sizes and slightly different styles. So we're going to take a closer look and see what the quality is going to be like. I have some quite high hopes for these. One even comes in a box, though it might be just a little bit squashed. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. Now let's just grab one of the bags. These are going to be in no particular order and I'll put all the prices up on screen. This seems a decent enough size. Let's pull out Luffy Gear 5. This is actually as you can see as well, a decent size figure. Take a closer look at him there. He is definitely a nice and decent size. If we talk, take a closer look at him, so we can. One thing we can see there is that the moulding around the hairline isn't actually the best. It is coming away just a little bit. But if we move around, you can see that yes, again, moulding lines in little sections like across the ability there. You see that. It's just, just a little bit rough in places for it. But there's a nice texture on the bottoms there. You've got his scar on his chest, nicely painted in and it's nicely detailed in that way. Going around, yes, more mold lines and mold marks, which is kind of typical on these kind of things as well. You are going to get them mold lines and mold marks to it. Transfers and stuff aren't, well, I'll say aren't too bad, but if you look closer at his, we'll put it here, if you look closer at his mouth, that transfer itself is actually off and out. Mainly, more than anything else, it is actually the teeth itself. So the white is fine, but the teeth is up and over, so it's a little bit out. It kind of breaks the face up a little bit and makes it look a bit more weird. But for the size of him, and there's some nice detail on his hat as well, which is actually, is that loose? Now that's tied around his neck here, and tied into his chest, stuck into his chest. That's a bit of a weird kind of way of doing it, putting it stuck into the chest like that, but there you go. I don't think that actually is too bad. We've definitely seen better quality of these, some of these figures. Good start, I think, for Gear 5 Luffy. And of course, a nice decent size as well. Next up, something a little bit smaller. This one feels actually a little more weighted as well than this previous one. This one is more along the lines, I guess, of a... Uh, like an android kind of thing, like a chibi kind of thing with a bigger, bigger head than the smaller body. This comes with quite a sturdyish base there as well. And I'll have to have a look and see if that is something that's broken off or if that's actually meant to be separate. It might be meant to be separate by the because there's the, there's the five there as well. What we'll say straight away, if you look on top here as well, you'll see like black marks and smudges going around him there. The phone camera might not be able to pick that up as well. So yeah, all the little different bits of marks and that too, a little bit of molding. Big cheeky grin. Let's find out which way these go together. These definitely go into that. And there we have another Monkey D, Luffy and Gear 5. With the kind of like words and everything going there around him. He is not very stable on this base at all. And the way I'll say that he's not stable is literally because there is only one section on the base there, one part in his foot, only one going on to the base. And he's quite a big and hefty figure that doesn't really help the situation. Skin colour on this one as well, he's definitely more whited out, his skin is a lot more toned down, more milky compared to the previous one. It is just a disappointment that, that I'm going to guess it's the paint from these here, can you see there it's coming off on the five, it's coming off on the side there as well and all the symbols that is definitely what's been rubbing off and against under this and that is just a bit of a pain transfers again are letting go down a little bit there on the eyes it's the print quality on the eyes isn't actually that great normally this is one of the things that they do normally get pretty right when you get you find the kind of right figures the transfers especially the eyes that aren't actually that bad this time round, the quality of them is not great so far i think the first one it's definitely looking like the better option that I would recommend more to people. Because the last thing you want is getting marks all over your figures. This one definitely seems similar to the one we had in a previous video. So unfortunately that's an issue straight off the bat. The hole at the back here, for the put the stand in, the stand itself comes with two different slots. One smaller, one larger. And I think they're given with a larger one which it isn't actually fitting. The hole is not fully circular so maybe we can get in there for scalpel and eaves out a little bit is 
one of the more cheaper ones. We can see it in his face. We can see it in the paintwork. We can see it and feel it in the plastic molding. Just isn't as nice as the other two. And you can again see it in the feet, in the sandals, the bad paintwork around that. Pose itself is quite nice, quite happy. I quite like the movement in it. But this one definitely was only just a couple of dollars. So we have three more to go. And I say one of them is actually in a box. There we have another one. This is one of the ones I was actually looking forward to. I thought this one would actually look pretty cool. Based upon the one we got previous in the previous video, which I'll put on screen here. Yes, it did have some little issues, but overall I did actually like the aesthetics of it and for the price of it. And this one is very similar. And what stood out to me on this one is that his base is gear 5. I do actually quite like that. Seeing that is, it, that's pretty cool. I like that. He sits on there nicely. It's nice and comfortable. We'll get all these extra different colours in the abilities around him. Rather than just the stand up playing white like the rest of them being so far. I do like this little change. It just brightens it up and makes it just look a bit more like higher quality. Unfortunately he isn't sticking on that base very well. He will slip off. You're just playing them on a shelf or something like that. You could just put like a little bit of blue tack or white tack or something in there. Leave him just a little bit of glue and hold him into place. Yes, his scar is off. It's one of the first things I normally look at when we look at um, Luffy as well. Is if they manage to get that scar print in the right place compared to the mould in itself. This is a little bit off. The gradient in the colours around the building there as well is actually quite nice. It is a slightly more flimsier plastic. But this is what we expected on this and this is what the last one was also like. Transfers again are letting them down there a little bit, but they seem to have put like a wash over the hands. And because they put a wash over the hands or some of the other colour, you see that the, uh, some of the other colour has actually went from other stuff. His hands, they definitely look off and look a bit weird, like he has a really bad tan done to him, if you have a look there. And I can't quite see where that came from because other than the purple on his belt, the moulding around him, that colourful purple blues, is actually like a solid plastic, there's no spray on it, yet somehow there's different spray all around them. Slightly disappointing because I think that overall is actually quite a cool one. I, I say mainly because I do like it on this stand. I think on this stand he looks pretty cool. But let's go to the other one that was poking through the packaging itself. Quite sharp really to be fair for this little bit of plastic. It's like a huge giant lightning bolt for him. These sections actually have like a, a pearlescence kind of paint into them. And there is the three parts that he comes in. Let's figure this out. That's the stand. That's actually quite a cool little thing he's got there on the little section that goes into the stand. There's a little bit of a metal rod that should give it slightly more support. And that does actually fit quite snugly in there. And I think this is just for whichever hand we want to put it in. Now, there is some good parts and some bad parts of these. If we take a closer look here at the pearlescence of the paint. I do actually quite, quite like this on the, like the, the cloud near this effect of his ability. That is actually really nice. Again, if we look to the scar, it's a bit more indented. The paintwork's definitely in there. That's fully painted on. Uh, there's a lot more detail into his chest there as well. The scar is pretty much spot on there. The eyes on this are way better than some of the previous ones. Where it lacks is the moulding of the hair. This moulding of this hair is not very good compared to, say, the very first one. Yes, the very first one was out and wasn't pushed on properly, but the mould was a little bit better. This just feels, it doesn't feel the same compared to the rest. It's very nice, smiley face. Transfers are slightly out on his eyes there, if you see. Very slightly out. Still like a lot of texture and a lot of niceness in the rest of his clothes. But we do also have very poor work across the sandals. I do like this bit, that's actually quite nice. So it mainly lacks in the paintwork and it mainly lacks in the moulding of the hair. The pose and everything about this is actually super cool. I do like it, it flows nicely. He sits in there nice and solid as well. So now we'll move on to the very last one. The one in the big box. Like I said, it was squashed the bits and that is definitely not a real real box there's no way that's a real box because there's no because there's no actual branding on this box it just says luffy and then nothing on the bottom wink i've not heard of wink brand before but that's all we actually do have on there of course we're not going to be worried about this box overall he is fully stuck in the box from where it has been like knocked about his foot 
His foot's poking through the bottom here. You know what, let's just cut the box open. Let's just cut it open. Now that was one hell of an ordeal in order to get him out of there. But look at the size of this. And there is so much going on with this. I think this was the more expensive one that I got. But there is so much going on to it. Look at that. This is absolutely huge as well. So value for money straight away there, just in the general size of it. Again, transfers are a little bit lackluster, as in there could be a bit more solid in the white. It's a white's a little bit more faded. You've got a few mold marks here on the plastic. You could easily kind of like sand them off, get them off, that'd be fine. There is some random bits of paint. See that, to see that the, the yellow there. A lot of texture and molding on his legs. Loads on his scar there. But they have missed the painting on the scar. The scar is normally always a different colour. They've definitely missed that. You've seen all the rest, that has different colours on it. This one, that has been unfortunately missed. I think the hair is probably looking the best out of all of these so far. I'm not too sure which way this was meant to be holding. There is so much going on with this. So much going on. The base is solid. There's lots going on on the base there. Yes, it is only a one tone base. So that is all just one tone on that base. But it is solid. It is really nice. He's already attached fully to that. You didn't have to do any attachment of that at all. It's all in one piece. <laughs> Other than the, I would say it is his straw hat. That's like the big letdown on it. There should be, could have been a lot more texture in there. It's definitely been missing some of the paintwork on it. I think possibly all the paintwork's been missing on that. The colour of the straw hat itself. And of course like the, the bandana bit that goes around. The ribbon that goes around it. It's a little bit of a shame. But overall that is... I think you still have to be impressed of the kind of thing you can get for a very little price compared to what the real thing would actually be. So do you think this was actually worth it for the prices that I paid and the overall quality of the figures themselves? Yes, there is issues in these figures. There's no doubt about that. But for me personally, if you are on a budget, you don't have that, that kind of money to spend a full 30, 40, 50 dollars, whatever it's going to be on a prize figure, Kuji prize figure, or even trying to get to scale model sizes, which will going to cost you 100 plus dollars. These are definitely good for what you can get. But if you enjoyed this video, Please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of everything. It does really help out the channel. My name is Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. This has been a hell of a lot of Gear 5 Luffy. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.